Protection, defense made to prevent harm or damage to something. Protection against complex aerial attacks historically has included shields and tactical formations against projectiles, arrows, and javelins, suspended nets to trap enemy aircraft, light reflectors to dazzle and disorient pilots, and even barrage balloons. Minimizing damage has always been sought, but if subjected to a barrage of rockets and mortars, how to protect against an attack of such magnitude? Can the Israeli Iron Dome achieve this protection objective? Military formations such as the Greek phalanx or the Roman legions use shields and solid tactical formations to protect against aggressions such as arrows and javelins. During the First World War, defense against aerial attacks included suspended nets to trap enemy aircraft, as well as light reflectors to dazzle and disorient pilots. Barrage balloons tethered during the Second World War were deployed in large quantities to obstruct and damage enemy aircraft flying at low altitudes, but especially aimed to protect London from German flying bombs. However, the Israeli development, called Dome or Iron Dome, demonstrates its effectiveness. It intercepts rockets in their attack trajectory, protecting populated areas. It is a surface-to-air missile system designed to intercept and destroy short-range rockets, aircraft, and other missiles launched from a distance of 2.5 to 44 miles. It responds to these with an interceptor missile called Tamir. The missiles are about 3 meters long and 16 centimeters in diameter, weighing 90 kilograms. Developed by Rafael Advanced Defense Systems and with the collaboration of the United States, the dome was declared operational and deployed on March 27, 2011, near Beersheba. This defense consists of three elements, a detection and tracking radar, a weapons control and battle management system, and a missile firing unit. Its radar system detects the direction of incoming projectiles in order to alert the population about the potential impact's destination. With almost 90% effectiveness, the almost total protection of its population is achieved, but the development of weapons has shown that walls are always breached, so the Israeli government will need to continuously improve to maintain the Iron Dome indestructible.